Hi, Enrique here with Enrique's Home Buyer Channel. Today, I want to talk to you about refinancing. How fast can you refinance after you purchase a home? Let's find out. Hey, welcome back, Enrique here. So, we get a lot of people who are purchasing houses right now with an interest rate that's a little high, right? People wanted to buy a house and they missed the opportunity when the interest rates were in the 4% range. Now they're in the 6 or 7% range. And a lot of people ask me, Enrique, how long do I have to wait to refinance? So here's the question. In reality, there really is no rule for most loans on how long you should wait, right? So there is no prepayment penalty with most loans. There are certain loans like VA, where if you have a VA loan and you want to refinance into another VA loan, there's a waiting period. But the reality is that the majority of them don't have prepayment penalties or waiting periods. However, it is prudent for you to wait at least six months or six payments after you purchase a home because your loan officer is going to have to give up their commission. You don't really don't want to do that to them. Now, in some cases, you may need to. If you have to sell the house or you refinance, call them, let them know that you want to refinance. Traditionally, you want to refinance when the rates are right when the rates are better, right? Right now they're not. We don't expect they're going to be at a place where refinance is gonna be uh, necessary probably for several months. Now, what is a good rate to refinance? Well, if you purchase a home at 6.8 and someone's offering you a 6.5 or a 6.4, you're gonna say, oh, that's better. But that's not a good reason to refinance because the savings are gonna be outweighed by the cost of the refinance. Yeah, there is a cost. You may not pay it out of pocket, but escrow, title, recording, notary, appraisal in some cases, that's all a cost that is involved in the refinance. So we want to see savings that are considerable, right? 1%, 1.5% better. If you're planning on keeping the loan for a long time, if you're going to keep it for a long time, then it makes sense. Now, when you talk to a mortgage professional, they're the ones who are going to give you the best advice. Now, I'm going to give you a word of caution. Sometimes you call one of those 800 numbers that you see on TV or on the internet. And you know who you're speaking to? You're not really speaking to a loan officer. You're speaking to a telemarketer, someone who is trained to sell you. No matter what, they don't really care whether you're saving money or not. In many cases, they don't care whether there's a real benefit to you. So be very cautious to make sure that you're not dealing with a telemarketer, right? So if you are talking to a company that operates on the internet, that their only way for you to communicate is through email, you know, if they have 800 numbers and they're answering phones 24 hours a day, chances are you're dealing with a telemarketer, not a real loan officer. Your best bet is to always go with a local broker that is going to give you the best advice, the best guidance. Now, not all local lenders are brokers, so make sure that you are speaking to a broker. Good way to find one is go to www.findamortgagebroker.com. Let me repeat it. www.find a mortgagebroker.com, put your zip code, and then look at the reviews. Find someone local in your area. That's going to be your best bet. I hope this information was useful to you. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Check out our other videos. We have tons of stuff there for you, especially if you're buying a house. I'll have a great rest of the week. Talk to you soon.